Hi everyone, welcome to your 60 minutes power yoga flow. For this practice, you might want some blocks as we're gonna go into um, half moon pose and this might be helpful. Also, we're gonna work the arms so this is a nice extra weight if you'd like it. Otherwise, we'll just need our mats, maybe a bottle of water, anything you need, and let's begin. So this being said, we're gonna start into a nice wide balasana child's pose. So bringing the big toes together, opening the knees, mat distance apart. And when you feel ready, walking your hands towards the front of the mat. And taking this time to land in your practice. Allowing yourself to just land and rest your entire body on the mat. Feeling held and supported. Letting go of whatever happened today and allowing yourself to give yourself some space. This is your bubble in time to move, to breathe, to be. And this is going to be a challenging practice, so at any moment, feel free to get some rest into Shavasana or Balasana, listening to your body. And also trying to play around with, with this in between, like, can you push yourself a little bit more? And at the same time, noticing when it's too much and you need some rest. This comes with training, this comes with time. But this is the space to play around and feel. Allowing yourself to relax your shoulders, your hips, your fingers. And shifting your attention to your breath. Noticing the air passing through the nose on your inhale. And noticing the air a little bit warmer on your exhales. Noticing the movement of your body with the breath. And allowing yourself to release and let go of what no longer serves you with every exhale. And we're going to enjoy five big breaths more. Trying to see what you can relax just a little bit more. Maybe in your shoulders, in your neck, your jaw, your eyes. Beautiful, let's take a big inhale all together. And exhale, side out, let something go. Rolling yourself back up one vertebra after the other, finding a nice tabletop position. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders, knees hip distance apart, opened. And we're gonna wake up the spine with simple cats and cow. We're gonna arch the back, pull the shoulders back, inhale up. And exhale, round the spine. Option here to close the eyes, finding your rhythm. Inviting the movement into your body. And if that feels good, you might wanna add some other movements. So this may be 
Abandoning your arms, moving your hips, moving your neck. Getting to one side and then switching to the other. Bringing any kind of movement in that your body is craving right now. Five big breaths. Beautiful, two more. And slowly coming back to the center. From here, we're gonna inhale the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm underneath your chest. Let your, el let your elbow and shoulder hover. Beautiful, coming back up, inhale, arm to the sky. And exhale. Let's find one movement, one breath. Three more. Beautiful, two. Last one, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, let your right shoulder rest to the mat. Inhale, lift arm up to the sky. Now what you want to do with your right hand is press the palm of your hand to the mat. And from here, trying, if that's possible, to extend your left leg back. So you'll notice that pressing your right hand to the mat will help you with stability. And always the option, of course, to keep your left leg to the mat. Choosing your option, we have three nice breaths. If your left leg is up, on your exhale, bring it down. Left hand on the mat. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, back to center. Beautiful, let's find the other side. Inhale, lift arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle for one. Inhale, up. Exhale. Three more. One movement, one breath. Two. And one, last one, big up to, big inhale up to the sky. Exhale, rest your left shoulder to the mat. From here, option to press your left palm to the mat. Shift your weight on your right knee and lift this back leg, left up, left leg up to the sky. Choosing your option, we're here for three nice breaths. And you might observe that your breath, you're gonna tend to keep your breath. So trying to place emphasis on your exhales. Beautiful, big inhale. Exhale, release your left leg back to the mat. Right hand to the floor. Inhale, press yourself up. And exhale to the center, beautiful work. Let's come back to your neutral tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, stack your toes at the back, and we're just gonna lift those knees up, like letting them hover above the ground. We're pressing ourselves off the mat, so shoulder blades are getting away from each other, the arms are nice and straight, and we're just gonna tap the knees down, and come back up. Tap down, and up, beautiful, let's go. We're warming up those thighs, and breathe. If you notice yourself collapsing with your upper body, pressing yourself off the mat. Four more. And breathe. Two. 
one. Beautiful, we're back to the center, the knees are hovering. We're gonna twist, so we're gonna twist to the left. The right knee is gonna tap the mat. Come back to center, exhale, left knee to the mat. Let's go. Center and twist, center and twist. Beautiful, let's go. Those thighs are burning. Well, mine do, anyways. <laughs> And breathe. Press yourself off the mat. Four on each side. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful work. Come back to center. Extend those legs. Coming into your plank pose. Always the option to have your knees down or full arms down. We're gonna stay here for three nice breaths. Once again, keeping in mind this notion of pressing yourself off the mat and lowering down those hips. And breathe. Beautiful, we're gonna get into our flow. First option, knee, chest, chin, dropping your knees down, squeeze your elbows to the back, chest to the mat, or getting into your flow, Chaturanga Nandasana. Cobra, baby cobra, up dog, choosing your option. And exhale, down dog. Beautiful, finding the first down dog of the practice. Paddling the feet, moving one heel after the other. Catching up your breath. Finding this nice external rotation of your shoulders as if you wanted to anchor the elbows to the mat. Let's find three roll-ups. So one vertebra after the other in your inhale. We're gonna get back into your plank pose. On your exhale, on roll, coming back to your down dog. Finding two more at your own pace. And exhale. Last one, when we then gonna speed it up. Beautiful, all together, let's come back to your down dog. And then we're gonna combine the breath and the movement. One breath, one movement. Inhale into plank. Exhale into down dog. Inhale, exhale, let's go. And six, five, four, three, two, and one, let's get into your plank, finding your version of float, knee, chest, chin, or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, from here, let's walk our hands towards our feet. Just letting ourselves go to gravity, option to grab your opposite elbows, rock side to side. Letting go of your neck, gazing to your knees. Three nice breath. And from here, letting go of the elbows, rolling yourself back up one vertebra after the other. We're gonna find our squats. I'm just gonna move for the camera. You don't have to move. So opening your feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. And we're gonna exhale, sitting down into our squat. Inhale, squeeze your butt up. Let's go, just simple squats here. <sighs> Making sure you're squeezing your butt when you come up and keeping your chest nice and lifted. <sighs> Six more. And three, two, one. We're gonna stay nice and low. Open your chest 
And let's find some baby pulses. Let's go. Making sure you're still with your breath. In five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful from here. Place your hands behind your neck. I'm gonna take an exhale here. Inhale up, shift your weight on your left leg and exhale, twist, knee to elbow. Come back to a squat and twist. Let's go. Exhale into your twist, activating your abs to keep your stability. Beautiful. Trying to keep this chest nice and lifted. Relax your shoulder, shoulders. Four more. Three, two, and one. Let's get nice and deep. Extend your arms to the front. Let me switch. What we're gonna do here, pull our arms to the back, lift your right heel up. Extend your arms to the front. Drop your right heel, lift your left. And then we're just gonna alternate. Let's go. Staying with your breath. Welcoming the nice heat in, the, in your quads. And six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, come back nice and low into your squat. Back your hands behind your neck and we're gonna find the other side. From here, exhale down. Then we're gonna exhale, twist to the left. Down into your squat and twist, beautiful. So our anchored leg here is the right leg and we're twisting towards our left knee. Stay with your breath. Six more. Halfway there. Two. Last one. Coming nice and low. We have one more round of this alternating. Let's go. One heel after the other. And eight. Six. Four, two, and one. Beautiful, we're keeping our arms nice to the back, sitting nice and low. <sighs> Opening our heart, staying here for three, two, one. Big inhale, exhale, release down. Beautiful, shaking your legs if that feels nice. Catching up your breath. Beautiful. So from here, we're just gonna walk ourselves back into a down dog. Let's inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, let's pull this knee into our chest. For one. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, pull in. Beautiful, let's go. Three more. We have our last one. This is a challenging combo. We're gonna keep our arms nice and straight. Exhale, drop your knee to let it hover close to the mat. Exhale, pull it back in. Drop and pull it back in. Working those lower abs. 
Let's go. Give me four more. Three. Two. Last one. Pull it back. Shoulders above the hands. We're pulling this right heel in. Staying here for three. Breathe two. And one. Open your right foot to the outside. We're going to drop the knee down to the mat in order to have the calf parallel to the front of the mat. Beautiful. We're going to get active into those obliques. <sighs> Let's place our hands behind our head. We're going to inhale to the center. Exhale, drop our chest to the right side. Coming back up. Let's go. For extra challenge, option here to lift this left heel up. Trying to keep this chest nice and open so we're pulling this left elbow to the back. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful, coming back to the center. Exhale, drop down like we did before. We're gonna rotate to have the chest parallel to the ground. Rotate again to get back to the side and coming back up. Let's go, relaxing your shoulders. This is a challenging one. Noticing if your right elbow is closing, trying to keep it nice and opened. And breathe. Give me four more. Three. Two. And last one. We're gonna stay nice and low. Option, if that's easier to cross your arms aside your chest, we're just gonna pulse it out here. Let's go, 10. Four, three, two, one. Less stay in static for five. Option to extend your arms for four. Relax your shoulder, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Coming back to center. Whew, that was a tough one. Just joining your knees back in together, sitting on your heels and drop your hips to the left. From here, arm to the other side, finding a nice stretch to the side of your body. So I'm not mirroring in this one. So we're all stretching the left side of our body. Option to gaze up. Three nice breaths. Beautiful, last exhale. Inhale, come back up. We're gonna come back into your position. So lift your butt up, extend your left leg and right hand to the mat. So we're gonna find an exercise that we're gonna find later into our full half moon pose. We're gonna do it first into your half half moon pose. I like to call it. Right hand can be on a block here. And then we're gonna lift, lift this back leg. Extend your arm to the front of the mat. Let's inhale, exhale, pulling the elbow and the knee together for one. Inhale, exhale, beautiful, let's go. Crunching your left obliques. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Extend everything. Option to have your left hand on your hip. We're just going to lower down this leg and bring it back up. Low and up. Let's go. And breathe. Give me four. Three. Two. 
One, you know where we're going. Give me 10 baby pulses. Let's go. Three, two, one. Stay here. Lift your leg. Option to extend your left arm to the front for three, two, one. Release. Beautiful. Left foot on the mat. Rotate to your mat. Finding your plank pose. And we're all meeting into a down dog. Option to find your flow or directly getting into your down dog. From here, resting your knees down and allowing yourself a well-deserved child's pose. And taking this time to shift the attention back in. Noticing the sensation in your body where halfway through the class, noticing any different sensation between now and the beginning of the class. Also noticing the sensation in your body when one side is done, the other one is waiting to be done. Training yourself to reclaim your breath, calming your entire system with a couple of breaths. Five more deep exhales to the mat. Taking a last exhale to the ground and gently unrolling yourself. Let's all meet into your nice down dog. From here, lifting the left leg up to the sky. Pulling the knee in, knee to chest for one. Inhale up, exhale knee to chest. Beautiful, let's go. Combining the movement in the breath and the breath. Three more. And we have our last one. We're pulling the knee in. Let it drop. Knee hovers above the ground and pull it back in. Drop and in. Activating the lower abs. Arms are nice and straight. Give me three more. Two, and last one. Beautiful, keep your knee up, knee to chest, pulling this left heel towards your glute for three, two, one. Beautiful, rotate your leg, your leg and foot to the outside. Drop your left knee to the mat. Let me switch for the camera. Beautiful, and from here, lifting everything up. Option to have your entire foot on the mat or for extra challenge, lifting this heel up. Hands on the knee, yeah, uh, behind your head. Beautiful. Let's inhale here. Exhale down to, to the floor. Coming back to center. Exhale, drop. Beautiful, let's go. Trying to rotate to the side, pulling this right elbow to the back. Making sure you're still with your breath. Beautiful. Keep going. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Beautiful, we're gonna go down. Rotate chest to the mat. Coming back to the side and bring everything back up. Beautiful, let's go. So the more you're gonna bring your upper body back to the mat, down to the mat, 
the more challenging it is gonna be. So if that's too intense, just maybe go halfway there. Stay with your breath. Noticing if your right elbow wants to close here, give me four more. Two. And we have our last one coming. Twist. Come back to the side option to crease your arms aside your chest. Let's pulse it out for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's stay here for five counts. Option to extend your arms to the front. Three, two, relax your shoulders. One, and come back up. Beautiful, excellent. To the chest, sit down. Bring back your legs, sit down on your heels and drop your glutes to the right. Right arm, up, right arm up to the sky, stretch the side of your body. Three breath. I don't know about you, but I am definitely sweating. Beautiful, coming back to center. We're gonna find our half, half, moon pose so once again extend the leg to the side let's bring the left hand to the mat right arm up to the sky from here bring your arm to your mat and lift this back leg up so we have the right leg up to the sky taking an inhale here lengthening everything and exhale pulling the elbow to the knee for one lengthen inhale exhale pull beautiful let's go Give me four more. Three. Two. One. Extend arm and leg. Option to bring your right hand to your hip and drop your back leg, coming back up. Drop and up, beautiful, let's go. If that's too intense for your neck to gaze up, just bring your gaze to your mat. And four, three, two, one. Let's have 10 baby pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Leg nice and high. Stay here for three, two, one. And drop your leg to the back, chest to the center, finding your plank pose. Finding your version of the floor, getting directly into a down dog, choosing your option. And we're directly gonna inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, place your foot inside your hands. We're gonna open into a warrior two. So the back foot is nice and parallel to the back of the mat. We're nice and bendy with this front leg. Noticing that we're gonna feel the glute Pressing the knee on the outside and open the arms to the side. Let's find some active recovery. Let's inhale straight to your leg, arms up to the sky. And back to warrior two. Give me four more. Beautiful, two more. Last one, coming back to warrior two, we're gonna get into your dancer. We're gonna try to keep this leg as it is, nice and bendy, and we're gonna flip the hand to the other side, to the back of the mat, opening our chest to the sky, relaxing this right shoulder. Last exhale. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. We're gonna straight this front leg, hop if needed. 
to shorten the stent. We're gonna inhale to the front, exhale, drop into a triangle position. Gazing to your left thumb, an option to get our bind. So welcoming a nice stretch to the left side of our body. If you had your bind, inhale arm, left arm to the sky and we're gonna reverse. So inhale, lift your chest up and exhale, right hand this time to the back of the mat. This time welcoming a nice stretch to the right side of your body. Beautiful. Last exhale, coming back to neutral. Exhale, once again, fall down into your triangle. This is where you might wanna have your block. We're gonna gaze to the front of the mat, place the weight on this front leg and hop into your half moon pose. So this is where you might wanna use your block, gal, to get an extra support. Tag your left hip above your right hip. Finding your position, finding three nice breaths. And then let's get active. Inhale, extend your left arm to the front. Exhale, pull knee to elbow. We're not here for long. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Give me three more. Exhale, pull. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Knee to elbow. Let's keep this connection. For three, two, one. Extend everything. Option to have your left hand on your left heel, uh, on your left hip. We're gonna exhale, drop the leg and come back up. If you wanna bring the hand, we're gonna tap the fingers together and lift back up to the side. Just give me three more. Two. And one. Beautiful work. We are done. Coming back to half moon pose. Staying here for three, two, one. Gently bend this front leg. Right leg is bending and coming to a warrior two. From here, straight your front leg. Switch to the side. Heels in, toes out. Let's sit down into your goddess pose. Pressing the knees to the outside, tailbone to the mat. Let's find four active goddess pose. Let's inhale, arms to the sky, straight both of your legs. Exhale, bend your legs, hands in front of your chest. Beautiful, two more, uh, three more. Exhale. Two more. Exhale, bend. Last one. And exhale. Beautiful. Two options here. First option, just staying into static, staying with your breath, or let's find 10 baby pulses. Let's go. Five, lift your chest. Three, two, one, beautiful. Inhale, straight legs and arms. And let's open to the other side. Warrior two with the left leg to the front. Bending this leg, back foot is nice and parallel to the back of the mat. And let's inhale, open our arms. From here, we're gonna inhale, heart, um, hands to the sky, straight your front leg. Coming back to your warrior two. Reclaiming your breath. Three more. Last one. And coming back into a warrior two. Keeping this front leg nice and bendy. Let's find our dancer.
left hand is to the back option for the right hand to wrap your left hip and open your heart to the sky. Last exhale. Inhale, come back to a warrior two. From here, straight both of your legs. Hop if needed to shorten the stand. Arms straight. We're gonna inhale to the front. Exhale, drop into your trikonasana. Gazing to your right thumb, being very light here with your left fingers on your ankle, an option to find your bind. If you had your body, inhale right arm to the sky. Let's all together lift our chest. We're keeping the legs nice and straight. And from here, flipping the triangle, left hand to the back. Relaxing your shoulders. Three nice breaths. Last exhale. Let's all come back to center. One more time, dropping into your triangle, gazing to the mat, option to grab your block, and we're gonna hop into your half moon pose. So weight on your front leg, weight on your left leg, and stack your right hip above your left. Right hand to the sky. And finding your position, we're staying here for two nice breaths. And then we have option one, hand on our hip. We'll just lower down this leg and bring it back up. Otherwise, bring the movement with your hand as well and tapping the fingers together. Finding your option, we have just four like this. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, coming back up. Extend your arm to the front. Exhale, bend elbow and knee connect. Three more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Two more. A last one. Exhale, we're keeping this connection. Breathe for three, two, one. Beautiful, extend arm and leg. And gently coming back to warrior two. Beautiful job, you guys. That was intense. Okay, straight both of your legs. Heels in, toes out. Let's come back into your nice goddess pose. Let's find a stretch, hands on your knees. Let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop to the center, your right shoulder, gazing up to the sky. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop to the other side. And one more on each side. Finding your pace. Coming back to the center. Inhale, arms up to the sky, straight your legs. And let's turn into your high lunge, crescent lunge, with your right hand to the, with your right leg to the front. Inhale, arms up through the sky. Exhale, hands down. Let's flow it out. Inhale, up dog, cobra. And exhale, down dog. Beautiful. From here, gaze to the front of the mat, walk or jump. Just slowing down on our glutes. We're gonna all meet into Navasana, boat pose. <sighs> rolling your shoulders back, rolling on your tailbone. First option, legs are bent or legs are straight. We're just gonna stay here for three nice breaths, finding your option. And breathe.
If you had your legs straight, bring them bent in order to have your calf parallel to the mat. We're gonna lower down this right foot and bring it back up. And then switch left and back up. Beautiful, let's go. And breathe. Palms are open to the sky or facing each other. This is perfectly fine either way. Relax your shoulders. Two more on each side. One. And we're back. Beautiful. We're going to find four active boats and then we're on the floor. Take an inhale here. Exhale, switch into your canoe pose. Coming back up. And down. And up, beautiful. Give me two more. Last one. Stay here for three, two, one. And release to the mat. Knees into your chest. Hugging your knees and rocking side to side. Beautiful job. Taking a couple of breaths here to breathe, reclaiming your breath. And we're going to cool down into the last section of class. from here we're gonna keep in your hands the right knee extending this left leg to the front if that's too intense always the option to keep your left leg bent left knee gazing up to the sky we're gonna find some circle into this right hip finding one side and then switching to the other Beautiful, coming back to the center. Extend this right leg to the sky. Option to just grab the back of your thigh, of your back knee, of your calf, or if that's within your ankle. We're trying to see if your shoulders are getting straight and tense. Maybe get into your lower option. We wanna have the shoulders nice and relaxed here. Foot is flex. And trying to press this right hip to the ground. And if your leg is straight on the left side, you're gonna bend it. And then rest your right ankle above your left shin, finding a four shape with your right leg. Opening your right hip. From here, thread the needle, grabbing the shin of your knee. And on your exhale, bring everything to your chest, welcoming a nice stretch to your right glute muscle. If that feels nice, option to rock side to side. Next, exhale, bringing your left foot down to the mat. We're just gonna wrap this left leg with the right leg. Open our arms to the side. Inhale to center. Exhale, scoop your hips to the right and drop your knees to the left. Gazing to the other side. If that's too intense, always the option to unwrap your legs or to place a block underneath your knees. Breathing through your entire spine, 
Trying to keep the shoulders connected to the mat. And breathe. Finding a last exhale into your twist. Inhale, bringing everything to center, unwrapping your legs and pulling your knees into your chest. Let's find the other side. We're keeping this left knee in, extending or bending this right knee and finding some circles to one side. So we're having the left knee into your hands, extending the right leg. Beautiful. Coming back to the center. Extend this leg up to the sky, grabbing whatever option fits your body today. And gently pulling your left leg into your chest. Relaxing your shoulders. And from here, bending this right leg, so palm of the right foot on the ground, and left ankle above your right knee. Thread the needle, grab your right shin, and pull everything in towards your chest. One more time, relax your shoulders, welcoming a nice stretch in your left glute muscle. If that feels nice, option to rock side to side. Taking a big inhale. And on your exhale, releasing your right palm of the feet of the foot to the ground. Wrap your legs, open your arms to the sides, scoop your hips to the left, and exhale, drop your knees to the right. Is to the opposite side. Option to use a block or to unwrap your legs. So choosing what fits for you and breathing into your twist. Trying to see if you can relax your shoulders a little bit more, your jaw, muscles of your face. Beautiful, last exhale. Inhale, gently coming back to center, unwrapping your legs and allowing your knees to melt to both sides. Palms of the feet towards the sky, grabbing the outside of the feet. Getting into your happy baby pose, if that feels good, rocking side to side, relaxing the shoulders, enjoying this nice hip opener. And 
and if you are rocking side to side, gently coming back to center. Let's take a big inhale through the nose. And exhale, releasing and letting go into the last posture of the class. Shavasana. Allowing yourself to surrender to the earth. Feeling heavy, melting into the mat. Soaking in all the benefits of the class and for a couple of minutes you have nothing else to do but be. And gently bringing awareness back to your breath. Taking a big inhale through the nose. Exhale. Let something go. Inviting movement back into your body. Moving the hands, the wrists, the feet, the ankles, your head. Giving yourself a nice stretch if that feels good. And then shifting on your favorite side into your photos. When you feel ready, joining me into a seated position, keeping your eyes closed. Placing your hands in front of your heart and placing a smile on your face and welcome the shift of energy. Taking this time to thank yourself to have made time in the day for you to move, to breathe, to be. All together, let's take a last inhale through the nose. 
and exhale, bowing to your fingers. Namaste.